Many of you in this room often dream about having flawless skin with no acne, pores, blemishes, dryness, or extreme oil production. But the term flawless skin isn't real and it's highly unachievable. For me, I know that I have large pores as well as excessive oil production, and I can control these issues with just a simple skincare routine. Now, not everybody's skin will work best with certain products, so it's important to find products that are specific to you. Today, we'll be learning about the benefits that skincare has on society, the materials needed, as well as the steps and layering to a basic skincare routine. First, building, creating, and maintaining a good skincare routine can benefit many individuals within society. As I said before, achieving your ideal skin can be possible with just a simple skincare routine. According to mostsurgery.org, skincare can benefit many individuals. It can improve your overall health, protect you from harmful environmental factors, as well as make you look younger. For most people think that skincare can be a way as to benefit your appearance, but there's many other ways to take care of your skin. Your skin acts as a barrier for your internal systems and it is imperative to your health and well-being. Taking steps to properly care for your skin can ensure that this barrier is strong. When the skin is dry or irritated, cracks can occur, which means that your skin can be more prone to an infection. So who doesn't enjoy looking their best? It's important to take care of your skin as it helps you look more youthful. And as we age, skin cells regenerate less frequently, which means that you can lose that jovial radiance and you can cause wrinkles faster. Then the basics of every skincare routine contains a certain amount of products. According to the New York Times, a basic skincare routine has a cleanser, targeted serums, moisturizer, and SPF. But based on your skin type, you have to find products that are significant to you. If you have dry skin, you wouldn't want a cleanser or any product that is made for people with oily skin and vice versa. That's why it's so important to try out different products and ingredients that could possibly work best for your skin. All these products, all these products in front of me will set you up for a good skincare routine. And it might look like a lot, but I don't use these products every day. Some are only meant for everyday use, while some are meant for maybe once or twice a week. So the products that I have here today is an oil-based cleanser, a targeted cleanser, a hydration product, my two targeted serums, my moisturizer, my SPF, and then these are face masks and chemical peels. But I would not add these into your skincare routine until you fully mastered the ordering and layering of your skincare routine, as I will show you next. When layering and ordering your skincare routine, it's incredibly important. And according to dermstore.com, if you mess up the order of your skincare routine, it could throw off your pH balance as well as it can mix with the wrong products and make you not look your best. So you wouldn't want to use an SPF first and then a targeted serum last. So it's important to listen while I give this demonstration because you don't want to order it wrong. So the first thing that you're going to need is a headband to pull your hair back. No matter if you have hair or if you don't, you don't want your products to interfere with your skin up here or your hair. So it's important that you have that right there. So an oil-based cleanser, if you wear sunscreen like everybody should every single day, you want to use this. And if you wear makeup, this will take off all of the dead skin cells on your skin as well as removing all of the product buildup that you had before. So it's important that you double cleanse. And I would only use this at night. The next thing that you're going to want to use is a salicylic acid cleanser, which is my targeted cleanser. And I use this in the morning as well as the nighttime. So for me, the ingredient salicylic acid works really good for my skin because I have blackheads and my pores are really large and I'm going to admit that. So I use this to help it with that. And salicylic acid is great for that type of skin. So after that, you're gonna wanna use a hydration product. No matter if your skin is dry, oily, normal, or combination, you're gonna wanna use hydration because it can reduce the sign of aging, it can reduce skin wrinkles, it can just hydrate your skin so it looks more plump. So the best ingredient to do that would be with hyaluronic acid. So when using this product, you're gonna wanna make sure that you fill it all the way up to the top, and then you're just gonna wanna get the whole one onto your hand and make sure that you don't rub this into your skin because it's not going to work the same if you press it into the skin as you're pressing it into the skin you're going to want to make sure you hit every single spot no matter what type of skin that you have next i use these two uh targeted serums which work really good for my skin because i have oily skin like i said before so the one that i use is niacinamide and the same thing applies for this you're just going to want to take off the dropper fill it all the way up and then just put it right back in onto your hand and press it into the skin. So ni niacinamide helps reduce my redness in my face and it also tightens my skin so then it doesn't look like just loose and it just doesn't look as young, you know what I mean? So then I use beta hydroxy acid, which is a chemical exfoliant. And I only use this one like once or twice a week because it is a chemical exfoliant, which is really important for your skin 
because it makes sure that it gets out all of the gunk that's in your pores as well as it reduces the sign of redness. And these two work really good together for my skin type, but when you're looking at your own skin type, I would suggest just using hyaluronic acid or PHA, which is just used for sensitive skin with BHA. So after you have applied those, you're gonna wanna use hydration. So using a moisturizer is really, really good for this because it locks all of your products in. So if you don't use a moisturizer, it's not gonna seal everything and none of the steps that you did before will matter whatsoever. So it's really important that you have a good moisturizer. One just for any type of skin like normal would definitely be CeraVe because it works with almost every skin type, which is really essential to everybody. But for me, I use this Omega Water Cream because this is really, really light. And because my skin is oily, although I still need moisture, it just this just works really good for my skin so I don't look greasy all the time. Uh, another thing that you're gonna wanna use for this is eye cream. I only use this like once or twice a week because for me, I don't believe that eye cream works very well, but if it has caffeine in it like this one, it's really gonna brighten up your uh, eyes and make sure that you don't look puffy every day. So this last step, which is the most important, vital, crucial that you're gonna have in any skincare routine would be SPF. It doesn't matter who you are, what you look like at all, you're just gonna wanna make sure that you use sunscreen. Many of you know, know that UV rays are emitted from the sun, which is really harmful to our skin, which can cause skin cancer, speed up the aging process, and even cause wrinkles, and nobody wants that. So if you're gonna take anything from this demonstration, invest in a good sunscreen. Um, I use this one by La Roche Posay, and an SPF higher than 15 is gonna be essential because that's just higher than what you need. So this is SPF 50 and this one's SPF 30. I tend to use this one more in the summer because it has a higher uh, SPF, which means that the UV rays are higher usually in the summer, so you're gonna wanna use one that has a higher uh, SPF. And when applying this sunscreen, you're gonna wanna make sure that you use a two finger rule, which would be you just go like that and that, and that'll be enough for your whole entire face. And if you don't use a two finger rule, you're not gonna get all the product that you need. So next thing that I use is this is after everything. Once you've mastered this whole entire routine, you can add toners, masks, like uh, this turmeric mask, salicylic acid, or this AHA and BHA. But like I said before, you're not gonna wanna add those until the very end of your routine for all this. So now that you have all the proper materials that you need to build your own skincare routine, I highly suggest that you find certain products and ingredients that work best for your skin. It's an investment that I believe that everybody should take a part in, and it's not that hard to build or start. Even though this might look like a lot, it's really not. And a lot of these products are affordable. The best brand that I would suggest to all of you would be the Inky List because their products only range from $5 to $20, which is really cheap. Same with the Ordinary. The highest product that I've ever seen is like probably $25. This runs for all of them. So if you're gonna take anything from this demonstration, make sure that you use SPF. Like I said before, I just wanna make that clear. Um, so today you learned about the benefits that skincare has on society, the materials needed, as well as the steps and layering of a skincare routine. The steps and layering to a skincare routine. If you need any help or product recommendations, let me know and I'd be more than happy to help. Thank you.